I to offer him counsel? I only hoped to help the boy find his answers. And I failed. What's my role in all this now? Tyr, you're at the center of this. You always have been. That's why Odin imprisoned you in the first place. He's terrified of you. I doubt that very much. It's the truth. And not just because of prophecies. No one has ever united the realms as you once did. That is not who I am anymore. I know you feel that way now. I've lost myself before. <laughs> there is something behind that. What is that? Purpose. Does it hurt? Oh, this? Only when I worry. How would Atreus get to Asgard? I'm sorry, but you'd have to ask Odin. He's got control of every path. I know how highly you esteem our expertise on such things, so I'm sure that's disappointing. He's just been one step ahead of us. Hang on! I got something for you. Sindri! Coming! Before you go traipsing off into the dawn, I thought you'd like to have this back. Hmm. Well, don't go getting too cheery about it. But you're welcome. I've collected what we need to find the Norns. Shall we go? Neithog. I say have consequences to look forward to. Squirrel. Ah, Master Kratos, my apologies. Madam Neithog's disappearance weighs heavily on my mind. She a friend of yours? Less a friend than another longtime tenant of the tree. She was here even before I arrived, and that was ages ago. To even think something could keep her away from her babies. Terrible, just terrible. Certain the trace could not still be in Midgard. I was just there and found no trace. If Odin invited him, he must have provided a way. No, that is not the only explanation. Tell me where we find these Norns. I discovered some of their threads near the frozen lake. I stashed one for spellcrafting, but we may also use it to find them. Just remember, they really don't want to be found. Well, at least things will be difficult for a change. We should take your sled and head to the lake. Midgard. How I've missed the freezing gusts and constant radar attacks. Well, that's because they believe Kratos is responsible for Fimble Winter and that killing him will end it. Where would they get an idea like that? From me, of course. Of course. Come. Oh. Quiet. She is a friend. Now. Better they get this from you. Once the wolves have the scent of the Norns, we'll just need to follow their lead. Mm. I will open the gate. <laughs> Stop whining. Their fur is matted. When did you last brush them? They are wolves. And matted fur leads to disease. Take care of them, and they'll take care of you. Brother, what exactly do you intend to ask the Norms? How I may find my son. Nothing more. You don't imagine it's a chance to clear up all this mess about prophecy? Perhaps get a second opinion on your alleged demise. You didn't tell me you had a death prophecy? When Atreus and I reached Jotunheim, we found a hidden mural. The giants, they herself, had foreseen our entire journey long ago. 
who we would meet, who we would fight. All of it, as it happened. But you aren't dead. That image was from a time yet to come. I see. You've never struck me as someone who fears death. That's not the problem, is it? No. Death can have me when it earns me. Then maybe it's not the future that bothers you. Faye sent you on your journey, and she made sure you'd see that image at the end of it. And you're still not sure why. I wish to speak of this no further. Now that we are on the lake, how will we find the Norns? Watch the wolves closely. See how their heads point the way? Well, the Lake of Nine has certainly seen better days. Raiders have made themselves quite at home. Not sure I've been back to these parts since our great battle with Seekrin. She speaks highly of that fight as well. You know of that. She told me all about it when she found me. She believed you could be an ally. Long before I believed it. The Valkyrie Queen. An ally. I'm the Valkyrie Queen. <laughs> as Sigrun was stubbornly determined to remind me. I should have guessed it was Sigrun helping you recover yourself. She's so loyal. Why? <laughs> Ever. Oh. Mm-hmm. Doesn't take a love goddess to see where you're coming from. This thread of fate we are tracing. It's not somebody's life, if that's what you mean. The Norns use it to mark their way when they're outside of the well. The Norns live in a well. No. The well of Earth, their home, is... hard to explain. It's in no fixed place. Entrances come and go. A place wholly under their influence, where the intangible becomes tangible. Like... Being inside your own mind. But if we go in together, are we in each other's mind? Not so sure I like the sound of that. Lemire, have you encountered these norms? Not personally. Faye's right, they have ways of discouraging visitation. Odin made his share of efforts. Wouldn't talk about what he found. Either he gave up, or he wanted to forget what he saw. Fair. You mind telling us what you experienced when you sought the Norns last time? Wait. That building. How oh, strange. I've never seen that building before. Aye. Very strange indeed. Let's take a closer look. Blocking the entrance. It looks exactly like the one from Tyr's statue. Brother, your fight with Thor must have scattered pieces of Tyr's statue all over the lake. Looks like the shield ended up lodged here. All this must have been hidden behind the ice until that shield smashed through it.
Over there.
We just need to open the gate. Well done. Believe it, Mimir. This crest belongs to Fjotorlund. Fjotorlund, you say? Now that's where Seeker is from. The vault is lost. Then we should find the keys. That's the spirit, brother.
You were asking about my last visit to the Norns. Mainly, I remember that nothing could be done to change my son's fate, which only made me more determined to try. Is that a frost troll? You won't be happy to see us. Of your story. You faced the fates of your homeland, yeah? The legends I heard about the ghost of Sparta were surely exaggerated. Exaggerated? Oh, not in the brazen bloodshed righteous fury part. The part where it said you traveled back in time itself to win a battle once lost. It strains credulity, obviously. I mean, a rumor about Thor knocking the world serpent back in history ah! from Ragnarok is one thing. It is the truth. The threads of fate span all life and time. The sisters of fate abused their power. When I challenged them, they threatened to undo my existence. So I killed them and turned their power on Zeus. That's the most dangerous and irresponsible thing I've ever heard. These Norns have no such magic, nor does anyone in these realms that I've ever seen. Why, can you imagine? If it existed, Odin would have it. And if Odin had it, we'd be five shades more fucked than we are already. I would not ask them to change the past, even if they could. Brother, seems the wolves have led us here. I just hope the Norns are somewhere indoors, and warm. Safe to say, no, I have not missed Midgard and Fimblewinter. Thank you. <laughs> we will see soon enough.
Magically sealed. Something in here is giving it power. The hilt of a sword. Brother, I know that sword hilt. <laughs> Tread carefully. You of all people know how weapons can carry ghosts. If it does not help us find the Norns, it can wait. I feel a trace of their illusions here. I can try to dispel it. <clears throat> oh, no. There's nothing here. A false trail. I'm afraid so. We'll have to see what else the wolves can find. Typical Nornish mischief. They know we're searching. I warned you they wouldn't make it easy. And what's the hilt of a cursed king have to do with any of it? Distraction? Coincidence? Who knows? I suppose they'd say we were fated to find it. Mm. 